What is up? Um, I've been, uh, I haven't uh, uploaded a video in a while, so I figured I'd uh, make a video really quick. Uh, I'm just going to go over a few basic things of making your map look good and a few things you could add to make it look better. Uh, I will be uploading more tutorials uh, soon, after this weekend, and let's can let's start shall we um first thing you can do is sometimes when you make your walls i've just built this little room just to show you guys this but when when you're building walls and you have them and you have these corners like this that look just look like crap uh what you can do is when you're building you click on your static objects and you're in here in your wall section look for pillar o2 and you can actually just throw a pillar right on the corners and just completely get rid of that that little uh crappiness <laughs> just uh go ahead and put them on all corners uh, see that looks real nice now another thing you can do is you can add windows so i'm just going to delete this section wall section <laughs> section of wall and I'm gonna put a mm, mm, a window O2 large blue. Let's see which way is this facing. Okay. And you want to make it lined up as much as possible. See, that looks wonderful. All right. Now that you've added your window, you want to go ahead and go up here to number three which is billboards uh, I'm gonna select a material and then I'm gonna go to billboards and since this is a light blue window I'm gonna choose light blue light ray I'm gonna put it right there and I am going to lift it up and once you've lifted it up, you can go right over to billboard and turn the size up so it fits in your window. This will just kind of put a foggy haze in front of your window, which looks pretty sweet. But uh, I back it up just a little bit so it isn't like completely way out there because you have it too far and you have the halo source size up way too much. It it just looks like crap. And to add on to that, you can add some lights from uh, up here. Just add a few lights. Whoops, that's a box light. My bad. I'm sorry. It's, what, 3.45 in the morning, so bear with me. Um, yeah, just add a point light. Point lights are the best for lighting, I think really which is probably the only light you can actually make lighting with I think box lights are actually for lamps I'm not too sure about that I might be wrong I'm sorry if I'm wrong but it's three o'clock in the morning so all right let's turn our point radius up to like three or 2.5 that's fine that works and put our point up to 2.5 alrighty okay now you have this and let's say oh I want them to go upstairs okay well l let me make a stairway real quick we're gonna go up into our static objects and go to mansion base and find stairs uh, any one of them will work default which is usually default <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put a stairway just randomly somewhere Okay. Now, to go up, when you want to spawn objects up higher, down on the left here, there's this thing called snap, separation, and height, which is next to grid snapping. Uh, you can turn the height up to like four. Okay, so 
I was getting totally confused there, so I had to pause the recording. But basically, you just put height up to two to get the stairway up higher. And uh, for if you want to spot another wall on top of these walls, which is about four, pretty sure it's four. Um, like I said, you just gotta you you just gotta experiment with it until you figure it out. Really, that's mostly how I figured out how to do most of the, everything that I do. But you know, you'll figure it out as you go along. If you have problems, you know, just comment, send me a message, man. I don't. I don't have a burden with answering PMs or anything like that. But yeah, once you go up here, uh, you just kind of build your upper level and carry on. Uh, that's about it for now. Um, I'll be uploading more videos later. Uh, talk to you later. Peace.